Hello and welcome to another TNT tutorial. Today's video we're going to be doing iobits uninstaller 7 free which you can get here at their website. The link will be in the description. Okay, try to make this a little bit short. Load it. You could open it up. This is the screen you will see. It lists all your programs. You might be wondering why you need an uninstaller. Well, Windows and comes with an uninstaller, but it doesn't really do the best of cleaning up afterwards. Whereas the uninstaller by iobit goes in and cleans up registries and all files and any kind of miscellaneous stuff. So let's just get right into it. Okay, over here, here's your all programs. Shows you what programs you have installed. Uh, if you're looking for a recently installed program, large programs, infrequently used programs that you might want to get rid of, Windows updates are listed in here in case you're having troubles with your Windows and you need to get rid of an update that's causing the problem. It's here. Toolbars and plugins. These will list all the plugins in, in your Windows browsers, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer if you still use that or if you have Firefox or Opera, they'll come up here. But if you're having problems with one of the toolbars in your browser, you can remove it here. Uh, Windows apps, if you're having problems with one of those or if you want to get rid of some, you could do that here. You have the Action Center. This is where you could just get some of their product updates. You get Advanced System Care, which I have a video on. You can get their uh, driver updater, malware protection, all different kinds of software from iobit. Down here, it checks on your software to make sure it's up to date. These are up to date. If it wasn't, it would tell me over here that I needed to update them and it would allow me to download the update. Uh, up here, we have tools. If you want to force uninstall, if you're having a problem getting rid of a program, clean up a residue. If you want to directly go and clean up after a program, you can check your uninstall history. And it also has a file shredder. Over here, you have settings, which are pretty basic. Choose your language, different type of skin font size, update method, general, if you want to send it to the recycling bin, you know, pretty basic here. You have a system restore, if you want to restore your computer to an earlier time, if you want to create a restore point, uh, export program list, this is a uh, nice to have if you have somebody that you know what kind of programs are you running on your computer just do this run this put it on your desktop whatever save it and then it automatically makes a list of every program that's on your computer All right. feedback if you're having any problem send them a message can check for updates here. User manual takes you right to their website if you're having any troubles, requirements, how to uninstall programs. Very simple to understand there. Technical support. Same thing. Very fast, takes you right to them. 
like them about. All right, so now let's get rid of one. All right, so let's get down to it and let's remove a program. I downloaded this one just to get rid of this. Two ways you could do it. After you find a program, you could just click the trash can or click the checkbox and click uninstall. That'll bring you up to the uninstaller. It'll ask if you're sure you want to uninstall the selected program and it allows you to create a restore point before the uninstall sometimes I do this on a larger program but this one I won't and it has a box here you could check for to automatically remove residual files that means if you don't want to see what's in there but we'll leave that unchecked for this one click your uninstall and it'll go around and find all the files get all the get everything out of your computer all right now it's going to tell you what else is in there and it's probably not much because it was a small program but the program's uninstalled and this is just all the stuff that was left over from it. so you would just select all you have an option to shred the files and then they're gone well the link is in the description down below if you're having trouble uninstalling programs I hope you'll try iobit uninstaller the free version or pro if you really need it but I find that the free version is just good enough for me. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.